are you? I am great. I'm so happy to hear this. I know that you go back from recess tomorrow. Yes. So tell me, during the recess, do you miss it? Do you miss your colleagues? Do you miss your colleagues from the other side of the aisle? <laughs> Let me put it this way. I am ready to get back in the fight. All Every right. Every time. Yeah. There you go. That's my job. Wonderful to hear. I will say, uh, your message is a very strong one. I find it very counter to uh, what your favorite show is. When I think of what Elizabeth uh, Warren's favorite show is, I would not guess that it is uh, Ballers. <laughs> That's but it true. Is. Okay. Uh -huh. Because you didn't tweet to all the reporters tweeting at me about the season premiere of Ballers on Sunday night at 10 p.m. like I haven't had this date saved on my calendar for months. I know. True. I know. You know. And by the way, uh, someone else noticed your tweet. Uh, this is Dwayne The Rock Johnson, uh, the star of Ballers. Uh, you reporters better put some respect on Senator Warren's name. She is ready for our season premiere of Ballers. And then, uh, thank you, Senator, for the support. I feel we'll deliver our best yet. You have a big rock-sized hug coming when I see you. Whoa. I mean, that is... <laughs> That's good. I would say a rock-sized hug is both very exciting and also very terrifying. Just be a little careful about a rock-sized yeah. hug. You were it's here in 2014, and it seems very long ago, you were considered, at the time, the far left end of the Democratic Party. There has been a progressive wave, it seems, post the 2016 election. Are you uh -huh. surprised it took this long, or are you uh, relieved that it's finally happening? Oh, look, I, I look at this as people are starting to ask the fundamental question, who does government work for? And boy, has that become even clearer over the last year and a half. The Republicans passed this gigantic tax giveaway, a trillion and a half dollars, to giant corporations and bazillionaires. That's who they think government should work for, that the rich and the powerful should get richer and more powerful. My view on this, and a lot of folks around this country, is no, government ought to work for the people. And that's what this fight is all about. That's how I see this. Was it frustrating for you, having been a, a, you know, a politician who'd always talked about the middle class and actually taken steps to protect the middle class, to see Donald Trump also frame himself as a hero of the middle class? Sure, but now it's not even about the words. It's about what have you actually done. You give away a trillion and a half dollars to the richest and most powerful among us. I just want to think for a minute what, what you really could do if you were investing that money in America. And, and on this, I want to say, for me, this is really personal because this is about how government works. I, I grew up in one of these paycheck to paycheck families. My daddy ended up as a janitor. My mom worked a minimum wage job at Sears. My chance in life was a $50 a semester commuter college. I grabbed it and hung on, and I got to be a public school teacher. I got to be a college professor, and I got to be a United States senator, all because America invested in kids like me. I believe in that, America. Do you take, I mean, solace is a weird word, but have you, do you find it notable that right now as we come towards the midterms, it seems as though the Republican Party is not actually running on this tax bill they passed, which no is the signature achievement of the first half of, of Donald Trump's term in office? And stinks like three-week-old garbage. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are, oh, oh, you know, somewhere else every time anything about that tax bill comes up. You know, and that's what's remarkable about this. They passed it knowing it was unpopular. You know, it's not like people changed their minds. They passed it knowing it was unpopular, figured, hey, they'd spend a few bazillion dollars uh, out running ads on it, and the American people would fall for it. And here's the deal. It's more unpopular now than it was when it passed. Because I think that really is the heart of where America is. I think we still fundamentally, fundamentally, down at our core, Believe in the things we can do together. Believe in the things like healthcare is a basic human right, and our kids should be able to get an education without getting crushed by debt, and that seniors should be able to retire with some dignity, and that we're willing to pull together, to pitch in some of our money, to try to make that happen, to, to build a better future for ourselves and for our kids.